Think about this! In the coverage in the last couple of days, Kate, I see all these split-screen images. You know, one person who's cheering, another person that's cheering. I see tears on one side, then I see celebrations on the other. That 50-50 split! Isn't that actually misleading? Isn't that distorting? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Have you ever noticed how much time these hacks spend on trying to rationalize the fact that they're clearly all just Democrat operatives pretending to be journalists? Hello and welcome back. I really don't want to talk about abortion. For one, it's one of those third rail topics that's bound to get you in trouble when you're in a left-wing controlled space like YouTube. Another thing is that I just don't like talking about topics I'm not particularly informed about. Basically, it's just a very complicated topic that I can see both sides of. So I prefer to just stay out of it for the most part. However, I do have a lot to say about deceptive propaganda media. Clearly taking sides on the issue, contradicting their own rhetoric for the last few years, and doing it all very dishonestly and we'll get right into it after this short capitalism break for noble gold over the years you've probably tried different investments in stocks and mutual funds so you know they can be up and down all over the place but with inflation running at 8.5 percent its highest rate for 40 years do you really need uncertainty being able to sleep at night knowing your investments aren't going to crash is worth its weight in gold and this month for every cash deal above 20k you'll get an incredible three ounce silver American Virtue Coin, completely free as a thank you. So call 877-646-5347 now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. You can find that link in the description and make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. Think about this. In the coverage in the last couple of days, Kate, I see all these split screen images. You know, one person who's cheering, another person that's cheering. I see tears on one side, then I see celebrations on the other. That 50-50 split. Isn't that actually misleading? Isn't that distorting? Absolutely, Brian. That is a complete distortion of the facts. Anybody responding to Brian Stelter with absolutely, Brian, is automatically discredited. Who even is that? She looks really familiar. Let me just look this up. <laughs> you can't make this up. Her name is Kate Smith, who used to work for CBS News as a reporter covering the topic of abortion. She wasn't an opinion writer, but supposedly a just the facts reporter, who was clearly obviously a left-wing activist for abortion. After growing criticism of her bias, which she denied, she quit CBS News and was immediately hired by none other than Planned Parenthood as a literal propagandist, which is how she ended up on Brian Stelter's soon-to-be-canceled show to give justifications for why the media shouldn't be fair and balanced, which it isn't. But all of this is just a transparent attempt to rationalize it as different when they do it. Absolutely, Brian. That is a complete distortion of the facts that we know about how people feel about abortion access and specifically the legality of abortion. We know that eight in 10 Americans want abortion to be legal. This may come as a surprise to you all, but the Planned Parenthood propagandist is being misleading. Yes, polls show high support for abortion in the first trimester, but support plummets after that. This is exactly what I mean when I say this is a very complicated, nuanced subject. You cannot honestly say that eight in 10 Americans support abortion because it ignores important details. And ignoring important details is one of the media's most used deceptive tactics. For example, they try to tell you that nobody supports these late-term abortions and they're extremely rare anyway. But that's a lie. Several Democrats have outright stated that they do not support any limits on abortion. Mayor Adams, do you think there should be any limitation on abortion? Uh, no, I do not. Do you support any limitation on abortion, or does it? do you think that women should have the right to have an abortion all the way up to nine months? I believe an abortion is a medical decision, and I believe that that should be a choice made between a doctor and a woman. And the recent abortion bill Democrats tried to pass removed all limits, including getting an abortion based on the gender of the baby. I'm sorry, but eight out of 10 Americans do not support that. So when you put that split, split screen up of, you know, one person who loves it, one person who hates it, well, that's completely ignoring Which, the Which, to be fair, we are doing right now. Well, where's your news director? No, I'm kidding you. But... <laughs> 
So trustworthy. Well, where's your news director? No, I'm <laughs> kidding you. But it's all me. It's all me. I choose the videos. But I, I, I did this on purpose because I do think this actually is part of the issue. New CBS polling from your alma mater today. Uh, abortion in your state should be what? 9% of Americans say illegal in all cases. Uh, the rest say either illegal in most cases, uh, legal in most cases, or illegal in all cases. But only 9% of Americans say it should be completely illegal in their state. Oh yeah, we totally trust the poll from a Democrat state media outlet that stealthily employed an abortion activist as a reporter. Even so, notice how he just sort of glosses over all those other numbers because it would reflect what I was just talking about. Which shows the reality that most Americans don't support abortion after the first trimester and used as contraception. So their argument here for not presenting both sides fairly is that it should all be based on the public's approval, which is just such obvious bullshit. Because if that were the case, their reporting of Biden would reflect the fact that his approval is below 40%. And it's not even a good idea in the first place, because what if the public approves of something that's really bad? Reporters are supposed to report, not convince people and not confirm people's biases. Like I said, I don't support a total ban on abortion but there's something very wrong about all the lies and deception used by the pro-abortion activists. A side that's so certain of their righteousness shouldn't have to dehumanize unborn babies and purposely misrepresent polls like this. This latest CNN propaganda segment was sponsored by Volkswagen, <laughs> which just makes sense, doesn't it? Don't spend your money on the baddies who hate you and are in the process of dismantling our republic. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button and leave a comment to let us all know what you think about Brian Stelter's justification for being a Democrat Party hack. See you all on the next one.